surely this can't be real, guys. Come on, please tell me this is not. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you ever so much for coming back to the channel and welcome back to your lovely faces. As you can see in the thumbnail and actually in the title, we're going to take a look at someone where a lot of people now, aviation experts, media, even fellow people on YouTube and actual people who just fly their planes, they've all said that this guy, he crashed his plane on purpose for views and clout. Which to me, if this is true, then this guy doesn't deserve to have a pilot's license. Hell, he doesn't even deserve to have a driving license if this is true. Because this is terrible if he has done this. Because we are going to take a look at the video. It's going to be like dissected up a little bit. Because obviously, I don't want to get the uh, the video flagged. And the guy, he's using my stuff. I want his money. Which is what this type of guy, by the looks of things, would do. So let's jump on into it. So this is coming first from the New York Post. It is on every other website as well. But pilot may have crashed his plane on purpose for clout, aviation experts say. So, the YouTuber may have blown his career sky high. Trevor Jacob, a 28-year-old pilot and YouTube creator, is being investigated by the Federal Aviation Administration, the FAA, after he crashed a civilian plane in November. So... Jacob, who posted the crash on YouTube, by the way, has been accused by aviation experts of masterminding the incident. He regularly uh, shares videos of his wild stunts and antics on his page, which has more than 130,000 subscribers. When reached by the post, he declined to comment. His crash clip showed him flying over the Los Padres National Forest in California when his small Taylor Croft BL-64 aircraft had engine failure. He said in the clip. So, with that though, it does say by there that he goes on to say what he's doing the video for him, bringing to the ashes of his friend in the plane and landing on the hills. But, with the actual clip, this is how it starts. Literally, just him in the plane straight away. You know, we're going to just show a little bit there, you know. He's flying off and everything else. He's going up. But, the one of the big uh, things as well is this by here. This is the fuel line. It's not on. The fuel line's been taken off. Which a lot of aviation uh, people have been noticing. And they're like, well, if that's off, well, you know, no wonder his engine uh, didn't work. He didn't have it loaded up to uh, fuel. He just had enough in there to get him up and above. But, you know, it does go along. And this guy's got a lot of cameras as well. You know, he's got one in the front with him. He's got one on the back. He's also got one on the side as well. You, he's got the ashes by there, but he's also we uh, go through it there. We got another one, and this is when it's literally now. You can see it's starting to still going, but he's looking out. He's looking out, ready like already. Oh no, the engine has stopped. Oh, they're kicking back in, kicking back in. He's like, oh no, he's saying that he did have engine failure. That's what he's saying, but literally. Without doing anything, he opens the door and literally grabs the GoPro and just does an Indiana Jones out of the uh, plane. Literally. He's like, bye-bye, I'm going. Off we go. Bye-bye, let's go. And if you notice, obviously, this guy, he went back for all the footage. You know, all the footage for his uh, GoPros. He went and got it. And... He's going through everything, and the way the plane is, obviously he, uh, he's on the parachuting down, planes in the distance, by here as you can see, and the plane, it does, by here, here we go. Gone. Let's do another angle. Gone. So... With all of that, to me, again, I'm not a pilot, I don't know anything, but surely he should have uh, had a quick look to see what was wrong. Because, literally, we're only three minutes into the video, as you can see by here. We're three minutes into it, three minutes 43. And when he's flying, you know, he's got everything, yeah, I got the ashes. And he's like, yeah, great, great. And from when he actually, you know, the propeller stops... To him, jumping out is like, here we go. So what's that? So we got uh, 
Five seconds. Wait till it stops. Do you notice that? There was a cut. Still going. Propellers going. Next shot. Oh, look, it stopped completely. Yeah. To me, this guy did this on purpose. And it's absolutely sickening. And as you can see, look. He turned off the comments for this video alone. And the way this has happened is like, dude. It doesn't matter if you're over the mountains or anything else. For all you know. Were people hiking? Was there anyone around? Do you know what was happening? Because again, people could have been doing anything. Because this is a national park, supposedly, where this happened. But it's like, mate, come on. And if he has done this on purpose, which at the moment, my mind is totally going that way. It's like, dude, you really need to see yourself uh, either arrested for endangering whatever. Obviously, I, I don't think you should have a pilot's license. Hell, not even a driver's license. But when you go onto the guy's YouTube channel, this one, 1.4 million, and these are all his latest videos. Then there's 49,000, 26,000, 8,000, 6,000, 4,000. All of a sudden, he crashes his plane, and it's like, oh, boom, straight up to 1.4. He has got some other ones which are in the millions, you know. My best friend done that, base jumping. But he's just talking about it, I believe, because I haven't seen it. But when you look at all this stuff, it's like, right, okay. You know, you could be uh, extreme or whatever going in. You know, I love sharing f fun adventures, stories, and things I've learned with you. Thank you for stopping by. But when you look at everything else, when I mean, you've got this by here, which is actually the AV web, and you got the FAA investigating controversial crash video updated. And they have. They've confirmed it is investigating it because there's so many things wrong with it. And one of the funniest things is, like you got by there, in the 17-minute video, it's now 12 minutes. See? 12 minutes and 47 seconds. While everyone was like, oh no, it's... Uh, it was a 17 minute long video. Obviously, he has cut some stuff out. And it's like, what? As you can see right by here, it does say that uh, he shot the video November 24th, but he posted it in a month later. Jacob says he's flying to Mammoth to spread the ashes of a friend. He apparently took off from Lompoc Airport, and the crash was reported to have taken place in Los Padres National Forest near California, about 15 miles north of Santa Barbara. There is commentary on the weather and reference to his deceased friend, but no description of the circumstances of the alleged engine failure. Video from three angles show him straining to open the door before diving headfirst beyond the strut, never letting go of a selfie stick. The cameras also cover what appears to be a crash sequence. So, to me, all of this is literally done on purpose. And again, by here, 100,000 views... The video ends them climbing a mountain days later to launch a paraglider to finally spread the ashes. Yeah, obviously the video has been cut down. This was December, Christmas Day. To me, this guy has done it all just for views. Literally, he's gone out of his way. Let's do this with a bit of clout. Let's see what we can do. Let's get this going. And it's absolutely disgusting. You know, I have tried looking around to see what is currently going on. Because obviously it is, uh, this is huge. If he has done this on purpose, just for views and for clout, it's like, dude, what the hell are you doing? He has no idea who is around there. And do you want to know what the worst thing is about this guy? Because obviously him doing this and if it is for views and for clout. He's an American snowboard cross competitor and he was in the Olympics, the Winter Olympics. It's like, dude, if this is what you're doing, that's bad. You are representing your, your country and everything else. And this is what I looked at as well, because this is what made me go, ooh, this is interesting. By here, these people, obviously they're looking into it. All of this is not on the plane, the one he's doing. This is the actual plane he owns. you got this strut, uh, strut sorry, by here where he... Uh, you know, puts the foot on. It's not in the actual uh, flying or anything. It's not here. The door handle is different colours and everything else. And, uh, so I know, it's the, the wrong way. I mean, not uh, coloured. It's already down. It's like, did he take off with it? It's like, what the hell is going on? 
They got by here, but the fuel, saying the fuel's fine. They got this by here, which has been changed. This is the one here, which he flew up with. And that's the one uh, when he had it, when he first bought it. There's some kind of cord by here. But yeah, it's just absolutely crazy that this guy thought he could get away with something like this. And I'm just glad to see that he is being investigated. Because if this does turn out to be true, like I said, I, I, I do think he did this on purpose. If he has done that, he should be had up on charges for uh, endangering the lives of people. Because again, who knows who could have been down there again. That plane may never have gone in towards the building. Who knows? It could have gone a completely different way. If you do have any topics you would like to see discussed on this channel or in a live stream, or hell, even if you just want to send a topic if you think I may be interested, hit this up on this email, cgsquestions at gmail.com. If you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe, hit that notification bell for future updates, and I'll see each and every one of you soon.